Have you ever wondered whether some of the things you do hurt your dog? Because we are of different species, some things we consider okay can hurt our animal friends emotionally. Stay with me, and I'll show you those things you need to stop doing to become an even better pet parent than you already are. Praising your dog at the wrong time. We all want to make our pets feel good and let them know just how much we love them, and one of the ways to do this is by praising your dog. Just like us humans, dogs learn best when they are given praise and love for a job well done. Praising your dog while training is also a very effective way to motivate him to learn and obey your commands. However, there are times when you shouldn't praise your animal friend because it sends the wrong message and leaves your pooch confused. You should not be petting your hound when he's disobeyed the rules. When your dog does something bad and they seem to get sad when you discipline them, don't be affectionate or give them a treat. This will only send the wrong message and foster bad behavior. And try not to fall for those cute puppy eyes either. Research has proven that canines use their eyes as a ploy to get what they want, and they know that we'll fall for it. Giving your dog too much food. Every pet parent knows how much canines love food. Most dogs can't get enough of it. This is why most dog owners end up giving their pooch too much food, as they want their dog to be satisfied. But what many people don't know is giving their animal friend too much food is detrimental to the dog's health. So, how much food should you give your four-legged friend? The truth is, there's no one-size-fits-all answer. There are numerous concerns that factor into how much and how often dogs should eat, and each pup has its own unique needs. Speak to your vet to know the amount of food your pet needs. Giving your dog too much food puts your pet at risk of becoming obese and several other health problems. Using human sunscreen for your dog. Not many people realize this, but just like us, dogs are prone to sunburn and other diseases associated with sun exposure. Leaving your furry friend in the sun for too long puts him at risk of developing serious sun-related medical issues. For dogs, sunburn can cause illnesses such as skin cancer and also aggravate conditions such as autoimmune disorders and dermatitis, so you must use sunscreen for your dog. But you also have to ensure that you select the right sun blocker for your dog. Hairless dog breeds and mutts with wider, thin coats are more at risk for sunburn than other canines. Make sure you don't share your sunscreen with your hound. This is because human sunscreen has ingredients such as zinc oxide, which can be toxic to your fur baby. Dressing him up. Another mistake that you might be making that hurts your pooch emotionally is dressing him up. Yes, your hound looks cute in that mini sweater, but it also makes him unhappy. Most dogs don't like to wear clothes because it makes them feel confined and threatened. Your dog could be truly upset and stressed out about it. This is why many canines will tug at any new clothes to get them off. You also have to be wary of your pet getting tangled in the clothes. Also, dogs with thick fur can overheat when wearing clothes, so it's important that they stay as naked as possible. Still, some dogs are comfortable wearing clothes. You can teach your dog to be comfortable with clothes with a little coaxing and positive reinforcement, but never force your dog into playing dress up. Using household objects to scare your dog. Research has proven that our animal friends have a phobia of several household objects. Many dogs are scared of these objects because of the white noise they create. Hence, you must not scare your pet with any appliance. While Fido's reaction to the object might make you laugh, your dog is stressed and terrified. Most hounds are scared of the sounds of household appliances such as vacuum cleaners, washing machines, and food blenders. Studies have revealed that four and five dogs are scared of these everyday objects. To ensure your dog doesn't have to worry about these objects from time to time, place him in a different room when you have to use a device. You can also give him a stimulating toy to distract your buddy from the device's noise. Letting your dog fetch sticks. Have you ever noticed that your dog feels pleased with himself anytime he gets to carry a stick in his mouth? This is because many dogs have this ingrained disposition to chase after an object, pick it up in their mouth, and bring it back to their owner. But playing fetch with a stick is quite dangerous for your pet's health. A stick can cause cuts in Rover's mouth or tongue, or even get lodged in his throat. And if your pooch chews the stick, it might splinter or break into pieces that are too big to pass through his gastrointestinal tract. Rather than a piece of wood, you can use rubber sticks, balls, or a frisbee to play fetch with your animal friend. Allowing everyone to hug your dog. Many dogs don't like being hugged because it makes them feel trapped. They can't get away from anything that scares them or makes them uncomfortable while in your arms. For canines, 
Hugging is equivalent to direct staring and bringing your face next to theirs. These behaviors make them feel threatened. Some dogs dislike hugs more than others, and some may actually adore them. Most dogs tolerate their owner's hugs because they love them and do not want to react aggressively. However, when the hug comes from a stranger, your canine companion might not be able to control himself. You should not always allow everyone to hold or hug your dog because this will make him nervous and stressed. Instead, you must tell the person politely to not come too close to your four-legged friend. Otherwise, the individual is at risk of being bitten. Punishing Fearful Behavior One mistake that some pet parents make is punishing their pooch for fearful behavior. This is because some fearful behaviors in dogs can often be mistaken for aggression. Your dog's growling might not be because he's trying to assert dominance or because he's about to bite. This applies to your dog's barks as well. Fido might be barking or growling because he's scared and not comfortable in a particular situation. Yelling and over-assertiveness on your part will only escalate the situation. Instead, you have to study the situation to know why your pooch is scared, and then calmly remove what has gotten your dog spooked. Arguing in front of your dog There are certain things you shouldn't do in front of your fluffy friend, and arguing is one of them. But have you noticed that your dog seems to get agitated when you get into a heated discussion? This is because canines are emotionally intelligent animals who can sense when something is wrong. Your pet might begin to bark, whine, or come over to you and try to distract you with the toy. Fido may also try to break up the fight or argument by jumping in between you and the other person. Some dogs will also steal your belongings because they know you will leave the argument you were in for a minute to chase them down. Dogs do this because they hate to see their loved ones arguing. Make sure you don't argue in front of your dog, as this can make him stressed and even depressed. Blowing in his face Dogs hate it when you blow in their face. A lot of them might growl or start yapping. This could well be because he interprets what you consider to be an amusing exhalation as a sign you're actually trying to dominate him. And this is also why most dogs find this behavior irritating. Canines also dislike this behavior because having someone so close to their face feels intimidating and unpleasant. While your dog might have learned to tolerate you being close to his face, being blown on might just push him too far out of his comfort zone. Your dog might also interpret this as a sign of aggression. Why? Dogs only puff out their cheeks and blow out air when they want to fight. Exposure to loud environments Dogs are much more sensitive to loud noises and environments than we are. It's why most dogs are scared of fireworks, vacuum cleaners, or a lawnmower. Just like their sense of smell, their ears are much better than ours. Their sense of hearing is about four times as sensitive as ours, so what we hear at 10 feet, a dog can hear at about 40 feet. They also hear a lot of things we don't because they can hear higher frequency sounds. As a result, exposure to loud noise for a long while can damage your furry friend's ears. You shouldn't play loud music when you're around your hound, as loud noises can harm the delicate structures of a dog's middle and inner ear. Loud noises also make dogs nervous and unsettled. Giving him separation anxiety Do you know what the worst moment of your dog's day is? It's that time in the morning when you have to leave him to go to work. Nothing hurts your pet more than seeing you have to leave the house. And this is why most dogs become quite nervous when their owner has to leave the house. Recent studies have also shown that you might be doing something wrong that makes your animal friend even more nervous about you leaving the house. You have to ensure that you don't do things that tell your dog that you're leaving is a bad thing. When you hug your dog for too long or stare at him with the longing look when you're at the door, you are unknowingly giving your pooch separation anxiety. Which of these things do you need to stop doing? See you next time!